hey everyone i welcome you all to this video and in this video we are going to discuss about uh, one of the problems that i encountered while i was working on one of the healthcare projects recently so uh, this is basically about a data quality issue that may exist in the data and uh, we are going to discuss about that right so here we'll be using three tables the first table is the dimension table with id column then we have fact table one with id and sales column and then we have fact table two with id and sales column right so let's let's uh, go there to the uh, power query editor so i'll just simply click on transform data and this is the data that we have here we have a dimension table with id column and this id column is having different values that is one two three and four these are the four values in the dimension table and then we have fact table one it has two columns that is id column and sales column in id column we have these values and corresponding to these values these are the sales values which are present in the sales column then we have fact table two in fact Two in ID column, we have these different values apart from this null values are also present in the ID column and then we have corresponding sales values in the sales column. Now let's head over to the report view and let's say I want to represent or I want to filter the sales from the fact table one uh, using the different ID values from the dimension table. So how can I achieve that? First of all, let's create a relationship between dimension table and fact table one. So let's head over to the model view and I will simply double click on the ID column in the dimension table and I will simply drop it here over ID column in the fact table one. So it will create a one to many relationship between these two tables as you can see on the screen. And now I'll go back to the report view again. I'll click on the blank area on the canvas. Let's add a slicer to represent different ID values from the dimension table simply drag this id column from the dimension table from the data pane and drop it here in field bucket and this will create the slicer for you and let's rename this slicer so slicer header in place of in place of sorry in place of id let's write dim id so we have dim id slicer and i want to change the style of the slicer so you can change it from here and let's make it vertical list all right now in order to represent the sales first of all let's click here on the blank area on the canvas then i'll use a card visual so i'll just simply keep it here and i will drag the sales column from fact table one from the data pane and i will simply drop it here in card visual blank card visual that we have created so you can see that sum of sales is being represented and let's say i also want to represent the different id values in the fact table one in a slicer so again i'll click here on the blank area on the canvas then i'll click on the slicer it will create a blank slicer for us let's place it here let's resize it and you can just simply drag this id column from the fact table one and just simply drop it here in the field bucket so this is the slicer that has been created let's change the name of the slicer so we can simply name it as fact one id and I want to change the slicer style as well. So from slicer settings, we can change the style and we can keep it vertical list. So this is the data that we have. And we want to filter the sales value in the fact table one using different ID values from the dimension ID uh, column or slicer. Now the thing is that uh, if I will click here on the data view, so in the dimension table you can see that we have these four values that is one two three and four but if i'll head over to the report view again and when you will see this dim id slicer you can see that apart from one two three and four we have one more category that is blank right so why this blank is being shown or represented here we are interested in knowing about that and we want to know a solution of that problem as well so if let's say if I'll click on one in the dim ID slicer, so the value in the fact one ID slicer gets filtered and accordingly sales is also filtered. If I'll click on two, you see values corresponding to two, three, then values corresponding to three. If I'll click on four, then values corresponding to four. But if I'll click on blank, then you can see that these different values in the fact one table are getting filtered. Right, so we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then corresponding sum of sales is also being represented from the fact one table. This happens because we have these values only and only in the ID column of the fact one table. 
but we are not having these values in the id column of the dimension table so when you created the relationship and relate and represented the values in the uh, slicer as you can see on the screen power bi added a different category in the dim id slicer that is blank and this blank basically points to all these values all the remaining values so if i'll just simply click on blank it will filter the id values in the fact one id slicer and corresponding sales will be shown right so this is a data quality issue and problem that we face because ideally if i talk about the concept of the primary key and foreign key although power bi allowed you to create a relationship between these two tables but if i talk about the primary key and foreign key concept then in the foreign key we ideally consider only those values which are a subset of the values in the primary key so here we have some more values which are present in the id column in the fact one table but these are not present in the id column of the dimension table so ideally these values should be present there right so you can accordingly update your dimension table and this blank will then no longer exist in the dimension id slicer so that's the thing now let's say instead of using the fact table one i am now interested in using the fact table two so first of all i will just simply click here on this slicer that is fact one id slicer and i will remove this id column from here and then i will drag this id column from fact two table and will drop it here in field bucket and i will rename the slicer so let's name it as fact two id and here in sales i mean the card visual that we have used to represent the sales i'll click here on this particular card visual then add data to your visual i'll remove the sum of sales from here and i will drag the sales column from fact table 2 and i will drop it here in fields bucket right so that's the thing and now i will head over to the model view let's remove this relationship right click and delete and i will now create a new relationship of dimension table with fact table 2 so i can just simply double click on id column and i can drop it here over id column in fact table 2 so again power bi allows you to create a one to many relationship as you can see on screen now let's head over to the report view and here now in this case you can see that blank category is being shown on both the slicers right so if i will click here in the data view or let's say let's click on the transform data option as we have previously discussed if i'll click on fact table 2 then you can see that in this particular column id column we have null values so due to these null values or corresponding to these null values you can see that this blank category is being shown or represented here right and then we had one two three values so this is being shown here right that's the thing if i will click on this one in the dim id slicer then corresponding to one sum of sales is shown if i'll click on two corresponding to two sum is shown three corresponding to three sum is shown if i'll click on four four is present in dim id but it is not present in the id column of the fact two fact two table right so you can see that sum of sales is shown as blank and uh, fact two in fact two id slicer nothing is there right so that's fine that's not the problem right uh, but if i'll click on blank then you can see that if i'll click on blank then the null values present in the id column of fact table 2 are being filtered and corresponding sum of sales is being shown so you can treat this data you can prepare this data clean this data maybe you can replace the null values by some other suitable values and then you can update your dimension table and then you can use these tables for your analysis right so that you know that like for example let's say we replace the null values by 100 and then we place 100 value in the dimension table so you'll know that 100 points to a uh, different number of times the 100 values present in the fact 2 table and corresponding sum of sales is being shown right so you can in that way prepare the data clean the data structure the data you can remove data quality issues and then you can use this data for analysis also this video explains it very well that it is very important to understand your data very well before you begin with your data modeling part right especially the data types of each and every column appropriately you need to clean prepare and structure your data either in power query editor or some other tool uh, maybe at the source also you can prepare the data and then you can bring the data in power bi and then you can use it for analysis maybe after that only you can use it for modeling and other purposes but you have to clean prepare and structure the data properly 
before using it for analysis and modeling right so that's the major thing that we want to discuss so we'll meet in the next session i hope this video was helpful till then thank you bye bye